my channel. Um, today is my off day, so I finally have the time to share some thoughts about housemanship with you guys. It has already been quite a long time since I last made a video because I was really busy and stressed about all my stuff like what were studying, tagging, and also off tag. I'm currently in a medical posting and because I'm a first poster, so it's a must for me to tag at least two weeks. These two weeks of tagging periods from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. was really, really tiring, especially for the first week when you are trying to adapt to the new environment. These are the days that you go to work before sunrise and only get to back home after sunset. And this is the first time ever in my life I get to experience a week without sunlight. <laughs> and so, um, but thank God lah, because I have a off day per week, so I can rest and recharge before I get to uh, face more new challenges. Um, I was actually quite blur and lost during my tagging period. And on the first day of tagging, I'm not given any patience to take care of, so I just tag along with my senior houseman and to learn as much as possible. And then on the second day onwards, I was given few beds to take care and this is the time when the stress started. But I'm really grateful because all my superiors are very friendly, helpful, patient, willing to teach and also willing to share their knowledge. And I really appreciate a lot because without their guidance, I wouldn't have survived this whole month. Um, one of the reasons that I'm stressed is because I'm a local private university graduate and during my med school, I don't get the opportunity to try blood taking and also granulas on real patients. So I am quite struggle with all these simple basic procedures during my tagging. But I think there's nothing for you guys to worry about because tagging period is the period that you are supposed to learn all these simple basic procedures. I still remember that the first few times I did blood taking and granulas was with my super trembling hands and I had profuse sweating as well even though I'm in a fully air-conditioned hospital. Yeah, I know it sounds stupid but it really happens on me. <laughs> and there's one cute, young, optimistic SLE girl who I will never ever forget in my life because she was the first patient I succeed in blood taking. I was assigned to take her blood and after two failed attempts, she still allowed me to try again and again. And every time I poke her, she will keep encouraging me saying that she was not in pain, I can continue and then when there's a backflow which was not so good, she will be like, Doctor, you are almost there, just keep trying only. And after a few attempts, I managed to get her blood finally. <laughs> I still remember before I poked her, I told her to take a deep breath. And you know what? She replied me, Doctor, I think you are the one who tarik nafas lah. <laughs> and this really makes my day and I burst into laughter. Somehow, what she did really touches my heart. And I really appreciate that she gave me the opportunity to try and to learn breathtaking on her. And because of her, the whole blood taking session was really joyful and no stress at all for me. <laughs> then after a few days, I was assigned to discharge her again. So I told her till we meet again, but of course not in hospital. And anyway, hope she will always be healthy and happy. Towards the end of my tagging, as time goes by with a lot of practice, my trembling reduced a lot during blood taking and so granulas. And even my senior noticed that and told me, so I guess previously my trembling was really serious. So if you guys are like me, still struggling for blood taking and also granulas, please don't give up easily. Just keep trying, keep doing, keep practicing. And one day you will manage to do it because practice makes perfect, right? And if other people can do it, you also can do it. Until now, even one month of starting housemanship already, I somehow still struggle to adapt to the new environment. Sometimes I will feel down, tired, nervous, stressed before I go to work, especially on my grad mode round days. And I will feel like I'm not doing as good as the others. I'm still so slow in everything, keep forgetting this and that. I'm still not good in present case, refer case, and also request scan. 
but I will keep telling myself that this is only a process and it's definitely not easy but what I need to do is just to stay strong keep going keep trying keep doing don't give up easily and do my best everyone who just started housemanship is also facing the same difficulties like me so I'm not alone and I don't need to feel bad about myself I don't need to feel demotivated as things will get better soon and I will improve along the way and even if I do feel like giving up, I will remind myself that how far I've made it through and if I give up now, it really doesn't worth it. So my piece of advice is remember how far you have come, not just how far you have to go. It's like you have already done 5 years of MBBS and if you manage to finish your MBBS, 2 years of housemanship is not really a problem and you definitely can finish it. Oh yeah, recently I have came across with a motivational quote and I personally think that this will definitely motivate every one of you especially for those who are slow learner like me. So I'm going to share it with you guys now. Just because that you are not making progress as fast as you should be, it doesn't mean that you are not making any progress. So just keep doing, keep trying, don't give up and one day you will be proud of yourself and you will be grateful that you didn't give up that time. And so that's all about today's video and before I end this video, I will want to thank all the senior housemen, MO specialists for teaching me a lot and of course, I will also want to thank all the patients who trusted me, gave me the chance to do procedures on them so that I can learn. And that's all about my sharing today after starting one month of housemanship. Um, if you guys like this video, please don't forget to like, comment and share. See you guys in my next video then. Bye!